Good morning, team Tally Ho. Good to see you all again. I hope you're doing well and you're staying positive and you're staying safe. Um, I suppose I just wanted to speak to you really today because there's, there seems to be a lot going on in the world at the moment, a lot going on um, which seems quite heavy and quite serious. Um, and I just wanted to really tell you guys a story, um, share with you guys a story about what we can achieve as humans when we're really pushed, when things come on top and things feel quite bleak and quite dark and quite negative. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about courage and determination. And really that courage and determination is to overcome um, against challenging times and challenges. Like, I adore the World War II generation, the Battle of Britain generation, but my big interest is really to see what, the, what humans, what we as people can overcome, what we can achieve when we're really tested, when we're really pushed, when things feel quite dark um, and sometimes it doesn't feel like there's any way out, what we can do and what we can overcome. So today I'm going to tell you a very brief story and it's an incredible story and it's about the only Victoria Cross that was awarded to a fighter command pilot. So we're going to be talking about James Nicholson. Now the Victoria Cross is the highest award that anyone in the armed services can get. And it's an award for real courage and valor of the highest order. So it's very rare to be um, awarded one. So on the 16th of August, 1940, uh, James Nicholson, who was a member of 249 Squadron, was flying over Southampton and he was attacked and he was hit by a Messerschmitt 110, but really, really, really badly. So he was hit and his aircraft, he was hit four times with cannon shells. Uh, and there's a lot of damage to his aircraft. His reserve fuel tank caught fire, so his aircraft was on fire. He was hit in the ankle quite badly, and this is a little bit graphic, but I'm gonna go there. His eyelid was severed as well, so he could only see out of one eye. So he was in a very, very bad condition. Things look really bleak, you know, they look quite dark. He was like, I need to get out of here. I need to bail out. And as he was about to jump out of his aircraft, he was literally taking the weight off to get out, he saw another Messerschmitt 110 flying in front of him. Now the context of this is this is the Battle of Britain and these aircraft are over Britain to attack and to bomb, to hurt our people, our nation and try and invade. And he had an incredible sense of duty and he made a split second decision, an incredibly courageous decision uh, and one of sheer and utter determination to remain with his aircraft and continue the fight. So to set the scene, James Nicholson settles back down into his hurricane, which is on fire. He's sitting amongst the flames. He can feel it. He has to rise his feet a little higher up to keep his feet away from the flames. But he realises that his aircraft is flying fine and his gun sight is working and his guns are operating. And he tears after this measure smith and they start twisting and turning. And he carries on the fight while sitting in flames while severely injured in his burning hurricane, it's staggering, it's staggering. Can you just imagine, like under no normal circumstances would anyone ever do this, but there was a reason, there was something bigger than himself. He was contributing towards something greater than himself. And that's what he did, that's what he did. He carried on the fight, he chased, he pursued, he let all of his ammunition go. He was full of duty, courage, determination, but he was angry as well, he was fired up. And he said at one point, and again, this is quite graphic, but it's the reality of the matter. He could see that he was holding the throttle um, and the control column, and he could see his hands in the flame and see the skin peeling back as it was burning, but that did not deter him. So he came down by parachute. He eventually used his ammunition up. He was spent and he got out just in time, came down by parachute, severely burned. And he realized that so as soon as he got down, someone come up to him. They had people from the ground had been watching this. They'd been looking up like, Oh my God, this hurricane which is on fire. I mean, can you imagine the scene, that dogged and utter determination? And it's an incredible story. And he was awarded the Victoria Cross for his actions. The only ever Victoria Cross awarded to a member of Fighter Command. And in, in the official citation, it was mentioned that for a sheer act of courage and determination, courage and determination. Now I know this is an extreme case, but it shows you what we as humans can do when really pushed. Sometimes things can seem bleak. Sometimes they feel like there's no way out, but you have to just keep your eye on the goal, whatever it is you're trying to achieve, 
and focus on it and be determined on it and be courageous and be positive. Okay, so at the moment with everything that's going on in the world, it's a positive message. It's an incredible story, but what I want you to take from it is move forward in a positive way. Set yourself a goal, a purpose, and achieve it with determination, with courage. It's not always gonna be easy, but you can do it. You absolutely can do it. These are messages that I take on board personally and have made a huge difference to my life. And I had to tell you guys the story of James Nicholson, VC. Incredible, okay? Thank you for listening, guys, and I look forward to speaking to you uh, again soon. Nice one.